Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm going to do my Friday favorites and fails. I have a fail this week. Actually, I actually had it last week, but I just forgot to talk about it, you know, because that's how my brain works sometimes. Anyway, so let's just get started. Okay, I got to share this. Um, I shared a picture of this. I don't know if it was on Twitter or on Instagram. What One of my social media websites, I shared it. But I was walking through Target, found this cute shirt. Love my shirt too. Totally a favorite. Um, and I found this hot pink purse and I love it. Ugh. This is my first favorite, guys. This is from the brand Morona. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a hot pink with gold hardware. It's a crossbody shoulder bag. Has cute little like tortoise um, details. You just twist it open. And it's super cute and spring-like inside as well. I love this bag. I love this bag. I love it. You know, I was looking at like Rebecca Minkoffs and all that stuff, and I would love like a super hot pink or fun color Rebecca Minkoff, but that's like $200 for a bag, and if you have them, more power to you. That's awesome, but I just can't afford that. <laughs> so this was a cheaper alternative. This was like $26, I want to say. Um, so this is my first favorite because I absolutely adore it. I've been wanting a cute crossbody shoulder bag and this is hot pink and I am in love. I love it. It's so bright and girly and I, with every beat of my heart, I love this. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some makeup. Okay, okay. <laughs> I feel really, that. see that pink bag just made me really, really happy. So, first thing, Guys, this is awesome. This is the Milani um, eyeshadow primer. If you have hooded eyes, oily eyes, and things like that, this is an amazing, amazing primer. This does so well at creating a nice, clean, flawless base for my eyeshadow, and it keeps it on all day long, and it really prevents the creasing. Um, and even like when I use like Too Faced, Shadow Insurance, Urban Decay Primer Potion, the e.l.f. one, you know, which I really like, is only a dollar two. But I always got some kind of creasing because I have hooded eyes. It just, you know, never, never failed. And this has prevented it so much. I love this. I love this more than any of those. These, this is like my hands down holy grail favorite eyeshadow primer of life now. Yay, and it comes out a really nice like a nude color. Um, but it just looks like any typical, um primer. You just rub it in and it just magically disappears and blends in. It's it's phenomenal guys. I super duper love this. Super duper awesome. Um, ever since I started using it I've not straight away and I love it. Okay next thing this is a newbie for me. Everybody has talked about it on YouTube for years and I just I don't know why. I just never tried it. I saw this little bad boy is like in like you know I got this at Walgreens, I want to say. It was like on a little end cap, and it was like, you know, try me. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, but this was $10 for this little baby size for two ounces, which is a lot. But I don't think you, this. I think this will last me a while because, I don't know. I just don't wash my hair that often because it's not good for my hair. <laughs> but um, you spray this in your hair after you get out of the shower when it's damp and just work it through and then comb through your hair. And it just... My hair feels so soft, like I can't, that's the only thing different I added to my routine is just blow drying my hair, and touching my hair like I do throughout the day. It just, it feels so soft and so nice. So I can totally see what the hype is about uh, the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Ting! <laughs> it's Leaping Buddy approved, it has a little Leaping Buddy bunny logo right there. That little tiny bunny. That means it's A-OK -okay by bunnies everywhere. <laughs> okay, next thing. Let's talk about these nails. Can you see them? I posted a picture on Instagram. It's so hard to capture its awesomeness because, like, on the camera they just look blue, but in real life they're like a dark blue, purple, green, iridescence, pink. Oh, it's like galaxy nails in on my nails and it was so simple. I just used a base coat of the Root of All Evil. I think this was limited edition but uh, China Glaze's Frostbite is the exact dupe of this but any kind of like a dark shimmery blue would work good. I know I talked about this last week. Oh my gosh guys you need this one. Sprinkled with Love from the Wet n Wild Color Icon. It's just like the most perfect beautiful top coat ever. It's so pretty. 
it just it's silver with like pink and purple duochromes a little bit of green flux in there and then um, rainbow glitters but just layered on top of any color it's divine amazing and I just had to share that with you because my nails look so stinking awesome so awesome okay that's all my favorites this week now on to my fail um I bought like a hundred pack of bobby pins for a dollar and that should have been my first sign that maybe they're not such good quality but I just thought I'd let you know in case if you're looking at them I got them off I Kate house but you can get them off like other websites or if you ever just see this brand it's a little tub of bobby pins called Annie's Annie um, but they are the most flimsy, worthless piece of crap bobby pins ever. Like, they seriously, I don't know, they're just so, they're so flimsy. They don't hold any hair. Like, I try to do my little poof, and it just, it doesn't, it's not, it's not secure. It just, it just won't secure. It just won't hold hair back. And I have thick, coarse, heavy hair. I don't think they're that good, um, they're useless. I can't, you know, pin up my hair in a top nut and put the pins in. I can't do, like, pin the hair back without it falling out. It just, they just don't, it doesn't hold my hair. That's all there is to say. It just does not work in my hair. So, totally, I know it's only a dollar, but still. It's a dollar, and now I have a hundred of these bobby pins that I'm going to use for, I don't know. What am I going to use it for? I don't know. Nothing. Waste. Anyways, so that's my Friday favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any favorites or fails, totally leave me a comment down below. Let me know or post a video response. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I heart you guys all. Bye, everybody.